Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kettle Haven Ranch. Today we're going to play with the tractor in the snow, do some plowing, talk about some tricks, and uh, some definite tips on how to stay out of trouble with your plow. I'm also going to cover a synchronized plowing using the back blade and the loader at the same time. It comes in really handy when you have a lot of snow you have to deal with. It makes short work of it. So right off the bat, we're out in one of the alfalfa fields. And looking back, I plowed a furrow two ways, one way down, one way back, and we've left the berm. Now, I can probably get one more pass in, and there's gonna be too much snow in that berm for the back blade to handle without spinning the tractor. So, we're gonna use the loader to take some of that load off of the back blade without using it as a, as a bulldozer. So obviously I'll have the tractor running. That always screws up the audio. We'll do the best we can and see if we can't put together a halfway decent video for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoy it. As usual, please subscribe, hit the like button, ring the notification bell for notification of future videos from us. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to start off, I'm going to go fairly slow because of the video. I'm going to lower the back blade. And I'm over far enough that the leading edge on the back blade, the leading edge of the back blade is cutting where I've already gone in the furrow. making a nice clean cut except for right there when I turned around okay on this pass I'm going to use the loader to help take the top part of that snow up Okay, so in this pass with the loader, I'm going to knock the top of that berm down as I'm going. I'm not digging, I'm just moving it. Oh, still got a little bit of yaw there. So before I wrap this up, I'd like to point out some other things. Uh, make sure your back blade is suitable for the amount of horsepower you're pulling. Uh, this one is so old that I use 
and it's been put back together so many times, who knows? I'm using it on a 60 horse Coyote and uh, it seems like every year I have to replace it, do some more welding on it. Okay, you wanna be sure and be aware of what you're plowing over. Extension cords that are going out the heat lamps, going out to uh, heat tape, going out to uh, water tanks for your livestock. It's nice not to hit those and, and destroy them or pop circuits, etc. You also want to have a good idea where those rocks that you can never seem to move are because you hit one of those going full speed with the plow and you do damage somewhere you'll do some damage if they're big enough rocks um, also and this is a good one with the tractors with four-wheel drive try doing it in two-wheel that way if you do hit something it doesn't break things the tractor will just stall out on you and the wheels will spin and you'll go oh crud that's right that's where I have that t-post that's where I have that water head that's where I have something that I shouldn't be destroying. Um, it's a very good thing. That also, I learned that lesson with the gopher killer that puts the gopher track underground with the poison in it. Popped one of these top links in two in a split second because I had it in four wheel drive and I hit a rock. All right, so be aware of that. Be aware of your tractor, how it's running. Uh, don't overheat. Also the egg tires, agriculture tires, yeah, on ice, compact ice in snow, they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. So be aware of that too. Uh, you might try chaining up. One other item I do um, after I've done plowing, and especially like the day we're just barely above freezing, um, is I go back over and drive over everything with the tractor ahead or before it freezes. That way I leave the tire tracks on the smooth snow that's been plowed. Uh, that helps a lot when that freezes later that night and you're trying to walk across it. Well, I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Um, oh, one other thing I just noticed. Be sure and check all your pins and make sure they're in before you start working. I could have lost that plow. Okay, take care. We'll see you in the next video.